Now we're in a tiny little sh- uh, um, hut. <laughs> I was going to say. It doesn't look so tiny to me. <laughs> like a freaking log cabin. Bit kind of decrepit. And the sheets kind of sprawled all over the. Ooh, who are you? <laughs> Understand? No. It's a little bit silent. Explain it again, Jazz. Ugh, Clovis, why do you always need things repeated? Because I didn't hear it the first time. Because you weren't because saying anything. Mission, so I want to make sure I get it right. Yes, this mission is vital to our cause. I'll explain it once more. Is that all right, Falsetto? I think they've done this on purpose. Fine. Because they just said their names. Yep. So I think it's the to show. Of yeah, this these guys are important. Is to rescue the guardian of a go yeah, I noticed that a lot in anime and games. People use each other's castle. names a lot more. Like we'll anime the characters yell them. each other's names. Like they're like. But the Tula! Or something. Do do I don't. That? I don't know any other character from we'll that film. Just Tula, because he yells it so much. I just doesn't even do anything. Our members spent yeah. Whereas in the majority of real life, Falsetto's right. Well, in this playthrough, you could probably mission. listen back. We've hardly talked to each other using each other's names at all. Mm. We've just been like, that's because it's, it's just two of us. Yeah, you yeah, kind of already know who you're talking to. I mean, how will this mission benefit on Dante? Right, Anthony. <laughs> right, <laughs> next <laughs> One of our members um, spotted his man Fugue in the Agogo I don't think we're going to play as these guys yet, so, so I'm not going to go into them yet. And just massive Guardian. spoiler on to whether they're playable or not has been released. Shoot! I think it's already clear because I already knew they were going to be playable at this point because of their names. Falsetto, Jazz, Clavis. I don't know. Monocle Man seems... I know, but I mean, at least you know how... What he's like. He's more of a baddie and he's got something to do with this plot. I don't know, maybe we could turn Cohen. Apparently, a go-go's dramatically increased or turn him into the a chicken. effectiveness of mineral powder. I like chicken. But it seems that only the glowing ones have that effect. I don't know if anyone else played Dungeon them, Keeper, but you know when you had that spell, you could turn an enemy into a chicken soldiers. and then have one of your guys eat the chicken. I guess from Walt's point of view, <laughs> by multiplying the effect I just of don't mineral know powder with the glowing that. ones, he'll be multiplying the number of troops he has at oh, his disposal. Well. I get it now. And then he'll use those troops to fight against Undantino. I like how we're just talking over the important story. Yeah, I'm so glad we actually put subtitles, otherwise no one will know Undantino what's going anytime on. Soon. He probably considers Baroque more of a threat. Almost definitely, because Baroque's bigger, All right, you money, two. Come on. I think it's about time we cut the chatter and got to work. All right, you kids, time to step the plane what from the you mean, kids? <laughs> Well, it's just the way he said it. It's like, all right, you two. We've all had a drink. <laughs> Save station. Yeah. Not sitting through those cutscenes again. Nope. Wow. Let's see. What was the end? Well, we got one for Fiola. Well, not probably, but I mean the lady. Yeah, new item. Oh, wow. Which is increased maximum health by five. Uh, does she need that? Uh, not so much she needed it, but we should give her something, because everyone else has got something. Yeah, and there was something else. What was it? Uh, I forgot what it was now. Well, oh, was it a, 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 an item for yeah, it's Polka? The, yeah, it was a new... It was a new item. It was, oh, no, it was the key. It was the key. Oh, right, yeah. Have we already put the coat on Polka? Because we got a coat with that treasure. Oh, you mean the red velvet? I think we do. Let me just double check. Yeah, red yeah. velvet. Let me see about this. Use, Use the key. And then you can get out of there. Yay! Bitchin! <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, and I th is there a chest? Yes, there is. Some extra booty. And that's a score piece. Woo! Music! I think this is where I actually got my first score piece, I think. I don't know. Ah, uh, so you missed the other one. Probably. I could have sworn... In the Xbox version, we found a score piece sooner. We found raindrops. Like, really at the beginning. Yeah. So, uh, I think the score piece system works differently. We'll, we'll try and draw some comparisons, because we're playing... PlayStation 3 version, but I have Xbox 360 version, so it'd be worth a playthrough, see if there are any interesting differences to bring up. 
Okay. You mean like references and that? Yeah, just some parallels to draw on. Okay. We're now in Hanon Hills, unless I read that wrong. <laughs> uh, it's just a nice little area. This is probably a nice place to level up again. Um, I don't think there's a certain level that we need to get up to. Um, Controller. Hmm? You're playing as Frederick at the moment. Oh, yes. Yeah, I just put those two there because level 13 is... Mm. Uh, bye. <laughs> right, so... Uh, I'm trying to remember what level I got them in. Um, at least between 14 and 15. I forgot how powerful these enemies are, but they're pretty much the same ones in Chaos. No, not Chaos. Core was Chaos playing. Control. <laughs> Core was planes. So you might not be able to level up much here. Well, might be wrong. But there are items around here. But they're easy. Is that to another start. dragon thing? I know what he looks like. He looks like Sir Viper. That thing with uh, in, in Pokemon with the slicer hands. Which one? Surviper! It kind of looks like a praying mantis. That's not Surviper. Surviper is a snake with no hands. Oh, right! What am I thinking of? One that... Cypher? Cypher! Cypher! Well, I guess it has some similarities to it. Up her head is Forte Castle. Um, I think there's an item there. Yeah, items are very easy to find in here. I found them all here. Alright. Oh, this time... In Aeon Hills. You look like a good target. The shape is actually clouds. So you it actually moves. You have moving shapes. Oh shoot, I forgot! Yeah, technical time is signature. It's not limited. Why? I don't see why. <laughs> oh god! Um, I'm not doing very well. You need to remember. Oh shoot, I forgot. Right, um, yeah, these guys could transform. We forgot to mention, um, hold R2 and then you can swap into your other special attack. So now we can actually have four all together. So right. two lights and two darks, and it depends which one you want to use. Okay. That thing gave you a surrounding shadow. We can't die in this, it's too embarrassing. My god, well this will speed up gameplay. You got it. You got it. Leave this place. Right, so apparently those dragon things were bats. Yeah. Oh nice. Yeah, they turn into those bats. And I think it's the bats when they're more powerful. Oh my gosh! I know it's weird, but yeah, you see, look at that! You only gain one. The bats are actually more powerful. I was getting a thousand with Fire Blast on the boss, and that is just stretching a hundred off those bat things. Yeah. That is insane. Oh, stop blocking! He used to be a dragon in took until he took an arrow to the face! <laughs> well, there you go. Right, let's, uh, let's help Frederick. Nah. We need to sell pictures. Where's the nearest merchant at? Actually, it's not far off. I've already yeah. where the merchant is. Um, there was something else. Yes. No, you would. <laughs> Sorry. I was still set on the item, but right, never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't what I don't know. Dark moment. There you go, you see? Now Fiola only has two moves, so she's only stuck with those two. Oh, okay. But Frederick. There we go. Grass. Now you have just hold R2 when you're in the light, and now you can swap between a healing and an attacking. Um Who? Coop to what? When did you learn that? I don't remember! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now we when got. When did that happen? <laughs> well now we got 
Kudu Janak. Um, Kudu Janak. <laughs> so that way, if you hit one in front of you, and if there's one behind you, that one will also get hit. So we'll have that. Kudu de Grass and Judy Kudnak. So Kudu Kudu. <laughs> yeah. Kudu um, Kudu, Pude Kudu. Pude Pude. Uh, you can have a vivid shot. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Where? Just, just this once. Woo! Just this once. I'm giving you both the cameras. I can take pictures. I can take pictures. You gotta watch out, cause I got my camera. Right. I'll have sun slash, might as well, and I have void edge. I can actually finally use that now. Because is I, void edge kind of like uh, cuda what's it, where I can, where you can attack behind? Oh, a tap hand. No, no, no. It was just in front, but it's pretty much just a light version of Sky Divider, and I prefer fans. Which one was it that you can attack behind with? I'm pretty sure Reto oh, had one. No, Reto didn't have one. See? And it's saying that. Yeah, Phantom Wave! Phantom oh, it's, it's those in well. front. Yeah. Okay. Because it's a line. And um, Polka, we, um... Orange Glow! We can use Never Wave, because I haven't used that, but it's still Orange Glow. Uh, so actually, now we can use some of the moves that we haven't used before. Wettos and Polka. Yeah. And uh, Frederick's apparently. Which and is I'll be able to use my night vision! No it's one will ever be able to escape my camera. It is a very useful uh, button that when you can swap your light and dark. So now you don't just have to use You're not just stuck one. with the two you picked before. Yeah. But gosh, damn, do we have to think quickly? I was looking at it and just like stood there and then kind of thinking. And then my um, action gauge is going down. I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? Yeah, you forgot about the new level party. Where Very much. But it only happened like three seconds, two cutscenes ago, but. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, yeah, you can't change your level party once you got up to the next one. You have to stick with it. So. We can't go down. No, you can't swap. Oh, which will make me into another point. I might as well now. After when you beat the game, what well, I've heard this. is there's a, a hard mode. It's, a, 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 it's known. It's known as encore mode. In that though, encore, yeah, yeah, encore. Sorry, I said that completely wrong. Oh, uh, got me. Uh, oh, go away. Go on, attack me. Whenever you swap like that. I remember. 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 It's pretty much just a hard version of this game, so you're going through the entire game again with a hard mode. Apparently, uh, the enemies are 1.5 times stronger than they were before. That is about uh, the strength of a, a super effective move in, uh, like, well, yeah, just a super effective move in Pokemon or anything. Uh. But yeah, I thought it was just a nice little thing. I don't know if Xbox 360 does it. Encore. I've not come across it, but then again, I've not completed it yet. Oh god, it's me! <laughs> it's alright, you've got about four seconds of technical time. We might actually level up a little bit, actually, because these guys are stronger than they were in the um, chorus players. It's actually kind of hard pulling the trigger no and pressing buttons at the same time. Really? I find it easy for me. I just do well, you're like that. a bit more used to the controls. Uh, this controller is a different shape to the Xbox. Yeah. I mean, it's not yes. such a different that it's impossible to use, but yeah. it makes a difference. So uh, I, I'll get the hang of it, but yeah. Forgive really, my clumsy could, fingers. Yeah. You have to hold it down in order to swap it to the other one. And if you want to go back on it, just let go. Ooh, cave drawings. Hey, look, Viola. Target practice. <laughs> yeah. See if you can hit the bullseye. You could just stroke the wall. That's okay too, Reto. What is he doing? 
<laughs> All the others are like, uh... What the? Are you okay? Hey, there's a breeze coming from the crack in this rock. Oh, sorry, you say something? We were ignoring you being crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can't do anything here. It was just for that small cutscene. Really? Yay! Yeah. Hey, there's a mystery here. Oh, well! <laughs> that will come into play later. <laughs> Good. Maybe. All right, now we got some new enemies. Uh, these guys are a lot. They're just a green version of the angel goat. I've got to say, I thought it was an angel goat, but just I don't know. The lighting made it look a different color. Yeah, I don't know what these guys are called. They don't transform. My gosh, it's literally well, a recoloring. Let's get started. These guys it's got the halo and everything. Do you see what they're called? They're called Eternal Green. Aww. They still oh, they don't transform. No, they don't transform. Not all enemies do. So it's a oh. You can use it. It's in the light. Sacred signature. Oh my god, I'm low health. I was kind of thinking that's a waste of it. Oh my gosh, I was so low health. That's why I was missing. Why was I low health? I don't remember taking that many hits last time. No. Must have been the enemy. Uh oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I gave you a floral powder and then you just wasted it away! Yep. Healing. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know, but it'd be best if we can use both. There we go. You see that over there? That little tent thing it looks like a caravan. Well, yeah. Good to say technicality. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that's a merchant. So we can sell her photos. We can sell our old stuff, and we can get some new stuff. We, uh, it's but gonna, first, kill goats. Yeah, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of a while. This. Have we ambushed him? Aww. No. Oh, Want me to look up those kinks for you? What did I say? Something about kinks. <laughs> oh, for crap! You guys are like, hey, pretty oh, lady. For sake. You got any food? I'd like some food. Does she look like a bloody flower? Why, are you. Thank you. Don't use it. Oh, I'm sorry. Good. I was gonna come up and be all. You can still do it. Nope. I was like, oh, you shook me way up the ass. That was a necessary commentary. <laughs> Thank you so much for your contribution. <laughs> Protect yourself, I don't you? You're not protecting, what the hell? I was, uh, I was taken by surprise. Oh, I don't want to do that. I know. I'm slower when I use melee. You are. You're alright. Orange glow. Orange glow. Good. Yeah. Right, who do I... Oh, this guy. Hi, bro. Now you will see. You will get used to the controls, won't you, for the arc? Eventually. Yeah. I mean, it's already getting a bit easy. It still feels a little awkward because 
when when a player got, there's a back to it, whereas uh, PlayStation's a small controller, so it so my thing kind of slides down the handle when I'm pulling the trigger. Whereas yeah. with Xbox, it kind of meets a wall, so it stops me from moving about. Yeah. So it's just a sleeker design. It's just it makes you yeah. Yeah, yours because yours is a little bit bigger. Go back. Back into oh, yeah. a nebulous dream. Hey, it's not like Xbox is clunkier, it's no, just no. chunkier. It is, yeah, and since that's the one you're more used to because you got the Xbox 360 and I well, have the PS3, so yeah. You're gonna be more used to the console you have at home. Hmm. 